Hi, my dear students of class 8. I am really happy to get back to you through this digital platform to get you introduced to the new computer curriculum for this academic session 2020-21. Due to some unexpected and unavoidable circumstances, you are not in a position to have your textbooks with you right now. Therefore, first of all, I would like to get you introduced to your new textbook for this academic year. This is your new textbook for this academic year. Understanding Computer Science by Aria Publications. These are the various chapters that we are going to learn. Overall, there are eight chapters and as part of the first chapter, you are going to learn about the various concepts of an operating system. Though you may not be having much technical information about an operating system, I am sure all of you are familiar with the different types of operating system, different versions of the operating system. In our day-to-day -day life, we are using different types of electronic gadgets. Let it be a personal computer, a laptop, a tab, or even a smartphone. Those who are having using these personal computers and laptops are much more familiar with the Windows operating system. Whereas those who use these tabs and smartphones, they must be familiar with this Android operating system. So definitely all of you are really familiar with the different types of operating systems, though you may not be lacking the technical information about it. Now let us try to focus upon the significance of an operating system in a computer. As all of us know, a computer can be mainly divided into hardware and software. Of course, there are also firmware and human fare which we cannot neglect and this discussion we will keep it for a later session. And as you know, a hardware refers to all the physical and tangible equipments that are associated with the computer, like the CPU, the keyboard, mouse, and monitor, and printer, and so on. Whereas software refers to a set of programs. And as part of the hardware, the hardware can be mainly divided into three units. Input unit, processing unit and output unit. Whereas a software can be mainly divided into system software and application software. System software ensures the overall functioning of a computer system whereas application softwares are designed to perform a specific task. Our operating system is a system software that is mainly used to facilitate the smooth functioning of any computer system. So, an operating system is the master control program that runs a computer. Without an operating system, no computer can function. So, first of all, let us try to understand some of the features of an operating system. An operating system is responsible for handling and managing so many tasks as part of a computer system. And one of the first features is the user interface. The operating system is responsible for providing an user interface to the computer system. What is an user interface? An user interface is the place where the operating system facilitates the interaction between the user and the computer. The user wanted to communicate with the computer and it is the operating system that provides that interface for this communication to take place. The second function of an operating system is device management. The operating system is responsible for managing all the devices that are connected with a computer. As you know, there are various devices that are connected with a computer, whether it be a keyboard, a mouse, a printer, or a scanner, or whatever it may be. So it is the operating system that manages the smooth functioning of all these devices. As you know, whenever we install any hardware device to a computer, it is necessary that we have to install a driver software also. 
and this driver software is actually the information that is provided to the operating system about the various specifications of this hardware and it is with the help of this driver software that the operating system is able to manage all the hardware and peripheral devices that are associated with a computer system and the third function of an operating system is application management as you know there are so many softwares that are installed in a computer system and even in a smartphone we know that there are apps these are known as apps so many applications are installed as whether it be a smartphone or a personal computer and it is the operating system that is responsible for installing this application softwares as well as uninstalling this softwares and not only that it is this operating system that manages the overall functioning of this application softwares like allocating memory and even acquiring the hardware peripherals for these applications and fourth function of an operating system is memory management operating system is responsible for the management of memory in a computer as you know it is possible to save files which can be retrieved even after a long time you yourself might have saved a lot of files that you have recovered later and when you save a file let's take for example you just click the save button on the menu but you are not knowing exactly what is happening in the background actually when you click the save button it is the operating system that searches for the possible available memory in the hard drive and saves your data into the hard drive or secondary storage device therefore it is the operating system that is responsible for managing allocation and deallocation of memory in a computer system the next function of an operating system is security operating system is responsible for providing security to the computer system as you know the security of your data is much more crucial in this age of information technology the operating system provides the various means and ways to secure your data and to provide to and to secure the privacy of your data and the operating system does this through various means like customized user accounts with passwords and many other features that ensures the security and safety of your data the operating system also has many other functions like the communication management the network management and so on about which we'll have a detailed discussion when you get back to your classrooms after learning about the various features of an operating system now let us try to focus upon the various types of an operating system based on the user interface that it provides based on the user interface mainly there are two types of operating system cui operating system and gui operating system cui operating system stands for command user interface or sometimes it is also called character user interface in some places and gui operating system stands for graphical user interface and cui or command user interface is a method that was used mainly in the earlier stages now also it is used but it was mainly used in the earlier stages where we could type commands for executing any tasks in a cui operating system so we have to type the commands as we have already heard for executing any task and you may not be much familiar with a cui interface operating system ms dos or disk operating system is an example of cui operating system which was an earlier version of windows in a cui operating system there is actually there is no role for a mouse just a keyboard is sufficient for providing all the input data in a cui operating system and maybe you are not though you are not familiar with a cui screen so maybe you can just visualize a black screen with some white letters where we will be able to type some commands for executing any task 
so whereas in a gui operating systems so it is a graphical user environment where we are able to see different types of icons and graphics whereby we can click with mouse and we can browse and it is much more easier when compared to a cui operating system and all of us are very familiar with a GUI operating system. As you know, Windows, MS Windows is a GUI operating system. This classification of GUI and GUI operating system was based upon the user interface. Whereas there are also some other classifications based upon the number of usages, like single user operating systems and multi user operating systems. And MS DOS is an example of single user operating system where only one user could use a system at a time. Whereas MS Windows is a multi-user operating system where more number of users can use the system at the same time. So dear students, as we have already learned, operating system is the master control program that runs the computer. And without an operating system, no computer can work. And so, the operating system is very essential for the smooth functioning of any computer system. So, dear students, as part of this session, we have only seen some of the essential features or aspects of an operating system. And definitely, we will have a real detailed discussion on these topics when you get back to your classrooms once again. Until then, Stay home, stay safe. Bye.